The very purpose of components in Figma is the ability to define templates for elements that can then be reused across your project. This frequently used workflow consists of two parts, creating the template or the component and then using it with slight variations. These two activities are sometimes even carried out by different people and it is therefore important for this part to be as user-friendly as possible. And that's exactly what Figma is trying to do with its latest component property update. Previously, when using and modifying components instances, you often had to dig through many groups and layers to find the element that needs changing. In addition to that, you also had to define a separate variant for when certain parts of the component were hidden. With the latest update, however, you can easily create and highlight controls that make it easier for you or other designers to use the component as intended. This is what it looks like. So what can be controlled through these component properties? Three things, layer visibility, text content, and nested components. Let me show you an example. Here we have a component that contains two elements, a text field and another nested component. Here we have the instance of said component. If we want to make the text contents or the nested component or hide certain layers, we have to click through all these layers and then make the changes. There are two problems with this. First, sometimes these components can get quite complex and can have a, a structure that is difficult to navigate. Also, there is simply a, a better way to do this and make sure that only the intended changes get uh, carried out. If we go back to the component, we can navigate to the nested component and apply an instance swap property. Also, we're gonna go to the text layer navigate to content and then click this icon to apply text property. Lastly, we're going to go to layer and apply the boolean property for the very same layer. Now when we go back to the component instance, you can see that the control panel now has all these new options. Thanks to the instance swap property, we can now easily change the nested component. Thanks to the text property, we can get a text field that enables us to change it easily. And lastly, we get a Boolean property that enables us to easily hide and show the layer we set this Boolean property for. All of this right here in the control panel without navigating through the component structure in the layers panel. And so that's, I think, the biggest benefit of this feature is that you are easily able to modify the contents, easily able to set up uh, components without creating many unnecessary variants. It makes creating and using components faster and easier. So that's how you use component properties in Figma. Is there anything unclear? If, if there is, let me know in the comments below. If this video helped you understand this topic, let me know by leaving a like. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in another Figma tutorial. Uh, yes, on my channel, where I do plenty of those. Thank you for asking. Have a great day.